Well, despite a disappointing end to the 2022 campaign, there's excitement building for this year's Minnesota Twins. And Jim Rich in Fort Myers, where he caught up with Twins President of Baseball Operations to talk about the return of Carlos Correa and the rest of the team taking the field. A year ago, the Twins were in first place for a bulk of the season, but then at the end of the year, they fell off the cliff. That disappointing ending has pushed the main man of the Twins, Derek Falvey, to make this team even better. And he feels that the Twins are on the verge of doing something special. It fuels you every day. It has to, right? If you're not, do if it doesn't fuel you, you probably should get out of this business at this point. So it, it made us look at our team. It made us think about our process. How do we keep guys on the field more? How do we stay healthier? What can we do to improve the overall resources around the club? And what can we add to it? But what I think it tells us is that we didn't spend the whole year you know, in last place in the division. We felt this had talent on this team. It proved it for a good chunk of the year. Now if we can keep it healthy, we've added to it. We feel this is a good group. Nothing's given to us. We've got to go. Cleveland won the division last year. That means they're the favorites. They are there. We need to go find a way to, to, to climb ourselves back to the top. When you look at Correa and him walking back and in Correa here, how much did that elevate everyone around? Yeah, I think, you know, a lot was made of what Carlos is on the field. And certainly we know what he can be as a player. But as you're pointing out, Jim, I think what really stands out for us is how much he impacts everyone in that room as well. You know, he's already talking with young players, guys who are in their first major league camp. You think of a kid like Brooks Lee, who we took in the first round last year. He's close to Carlos in the clubhouse and, and in his locker space. And they're already having those conversations. It's not just the Jose Miranda's and young big league players that he has the ability to influence. It's so many of the players across our organization that hopefully will be a part of our team, not just in next year, but in the many years to come. Does a signing like that maybe send a message to the rest of baseball that, I mean, because you're swinging with the big boys yep. when it comes to contracted cash. Yeah, I certainly what I think it says for us and the way we think about it and all we can control is ourselves is we're here to compete. We're trying to find a way to put a great team on the field for our fans. It's a credit to the Polad family and their leadership and their investment in this team that we have now. We're able to go out there and compete with some of the best guys in free agency, in the markets, because we're trying to put a good team on the field that's going to go out and compete and win. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Tomorrow morning, the Twins full squad will have their first workout here at Hammond Field and we'll be here live on the Fox 9 Morning News. With the Twins in Fort Myers, Jim Rich, Fox 9 Sports. Oh, sunny Fort Myers. I say it looks warm down there for Jim. Mm, Jim won't see any of that snow we're talking about until he gets back, <laughs> right? The Wild